Certainly. Here is the full passage rewritten into proper paragraph format, preserving every word while correcting misspellings like Beetlejuice to Betelgeuse and Web to Web and improving grammar and clarity where necessary. For, oh, centuries Betelgeuse has loomed over our night skies, a red supergiant burning with ancient fury in the shoulder of Orion. But lately, something has changed. It flickers when it shouldn't. It dims when no one expects it. And now, the world's most advanced space telescope, the James Webb, has just revealed something hidden in the dust. Something we were never meant to see this clearly. What the telescope captured is not just a portrait of a dying star. It's a warning, because what's unfolding inside Betelgeuse might be the final moments before a cosmic event that could light up our skies and change everything we know about stellar death. And if the data is correct, that moment may be closer than anyone imagined. Betelgeuse has never behaved like other stars. As a red supergiant nearing the end of its life, its days are numbered. But how many days, no one could say. Over the past few years, scientists watched in confusion as the star dimmed drastically, then brightened again without any clear explanation. Telescopes across the planet captured this erratic behavior, but it wasn't until James Webb turned its lens toward Betelgeuse that the real story began to emerge. What the telescope saw wasn't just fluctuation, it was instability. Beneath the crimson glow, Webb detected violent storms of dust and gas, massive ejections of material, and a shell-like structure expanding away from the star. This wasn't normal pulsation. It looked more like preparation, a build-up to something final. And for the first time, scientists began to whisper what they had long feared. Betelgeuse might not be dimming from within. It might be breaking apart. One of James Webb's greatest strengths is its ability to see through dust. Those thick, cosmic clouds that hide the true form of dying stars. When pointed at Betelgeuse, Webb stripped away the shroud and exposed something no one expected. Surrounding the star was a massive, cold shell of gas and debris, larger, denser, and more complex than anything previously observed. Filaments stretched across space like ghostly fingers. Arcs of cooled plasma curved outward like ripples frozen. In time, what scientists once assumed was a simple, decaying outer layer turned out to be a dynamic, tangled battlefield of forces. The scale of the ejection shocked researchers. This wasn't just a fading giant. It was a star in turmoil actively losing mass at a rate that suggested the internal core was collapsing faster than models predicted. Webb didn't just show us Betelgeuse's surface, it showed us the aftermath of violent internal convulsions and the signs that the star is preparing for its final act. What happens when a star like Betelgeuse dies is both terrifying and spectacular. The core collapses, triggering an unstoppable implosion followed by an explosion so powerful it can outshine an entire galaxy. Scientists have long hoped to witness such an event within our lifetime. And now, thanks to Webb's observations, that possibility feels terrifyingly real. With data revealing the extent of mass loss, internal instability, and the presence of cooling gases in the outer layers, many astrophysicists now believe Betelgeuse is in the final countdown. It could take centuries, or it could be imminent. What's more disturbing is the realization that, given the star's distance, only about 640 light years from Earth, we might already be seeing delayed echoes of a process that has already happened. If Betelgeuse went supernova centuries ago, the light from that explosion would be reaching us right around now. And when it does, it won't be subtle. The night sky will ignite. Shadows will vanish. And for weeks it will shine like a second sun. But beyond the science, beyond the headlines and the fascination with a stellar death, there is something more primal that Webb has confirmed. 
something that speaks to our deepest fears. Betelgeuse is a mirror of mortality on a cosmic scale. It reminds us that even the most powerful, the brightest, the most ancient can fall. That death, even in the universe, is not quiet. It is violent, unpredictable, and stunning. What the James Webb Telescope has captured is more than just a technical achievement. It's a moment frozen in time, a glimpse into the final breath of a celestial titan. And in doing so, it has shown us something terrifyingly beautiful, that we are not spectators in a quiet universe. We are witnesses to its collapse, one star at a time. Astrophysics thrives on prediction on the ability to model the life and death of stars with mathematical precision. But Betelgeuse is rewriting those rules. Since Webb's data went public, leading models have begun to fall apart. The star's rate of mass loss, its bizarre light curves, and the intensity of its convection patterns suggest processes that don't match any existing life cycle stage. It's not behaving like a typical red supergiant. It's accelerating faster, more violently than expected. Some astrophysicists now believe Betelgeuse may be skipping phases altogether, moving through a collapse curve that shouldn't even be possible without external interference. Could there be a mechanism we've missed? A force at work we haven't identified? Or is this simply a star on the brink of an unprecedented kind of death? One the universe hasn't shown us before. Long before we had telescopes, Betelgeuse had already captured the imagination of ancient civilizations. The Greeks saw it as the shoulder of Orion, the mighty hunter. The Arabs called it Yad al jauza the hand of the giant. The Japanese, Chinese, Mayans, all had stories of this flickering red eye in the sky, pulsing like a cosmic heart. And now, as it teeters on the edge of collapse, those stories gain new meaning. Webb has shown us that mythology and science may not be opposites. They are simply different ways of responding to the same awe. When that star finally explodes, it won't just mark the death of a distant sun. It will feel like the end of a symbol, a familiar presence lost. And around the world, the fall of Betelgeuse will echo across cultures as both prophecy and fulfillment, a scientific event that feels deeply, unshakably human. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, the entire solar system will notice. The explosion won't harm Earth directly, it's too far, but the radiation burst could disrupt satellites, ionize the upper atmosphere, and possibly interfere with global communications but the psychological effect will be far more profound. For days, the night sky will be banished. A new light, burning white with the brightness of a full moon, will rise where Betelgeuse once shimmered in red. People across the planet will look up and see it. They'll see something that shouldn't be there, and they'll know it's the last heartbeat of a star that was alive for millions of years, and then, all at once, gone. No matter how well we understand it, nothing will prepare us for the emotional weight of watching a new light dawn in the sky, knowing that it's the final scream of a dying giant. But perhaps the most chilling part isn't what Webb saw, or even what we're about to witness, it's what comes after. Because a supernova is not an ending, it's a beginning. The death of a massive star creates the elements of life. Iron, carbon, oxygen. It forges them in fire and throws them into the galaxy to be reborn. Every atom in your body was once inside a dying star, and Betelgeuse may become the next great forge. But what Webb has confirmed, what we all feared, is that this transformation isn't peaceful. It's catastrophic. The beauty of creation is built on destruction, and in that knowledge is something both tragic and sublime. We don't watch Betelgeuse as distant observers. We watch as children of the same chaos, knowing that one day our own sun will follow, that all light fades. But before it does, it burns brighter than ever. There's something haunting about the timing. Out of all the centuries Betelgeuse has burned, 
Why now? Why would it begin to unravel at the exact moment in history when humanity possesses the tools to observe it in such detail? For millennia, it was just a point of red light in the sky. Mysterious, untouchable. But now, as the James Webb Telescope stares through the dust, we're seeing it up close, in its final days. It feels deliberate, as if the star has been waiting for someone, for us, to witness its last act, as if its collapse is not just cosmic, but personal. This isn't just the death of a star. It's a moment of alignment between human consciousness and cosmic truth. A brief, luminous window in which the universe, for the first time, allows us to see death not as a mystery, but as a message. Not for warning, not for fear, but simply because we are here. Awake. Finally able to understand what we're losing. We've spent our entire existence looking up at Betelgeuse, weaving it into our stories, our science, our sense of wonder. It was always there, constant, bright, watchful. And now, through the unblinking eye of the James Webb Telescope, we've seen what none before us ever could. The truth behind the glow, the fractures, the tremors, the shell of a giant trying to hold itself together for just a little longer. We feared what we might find. And now it's confirmed. The countdown has begun. But in that fear, there's something profoundly beautiful. Because this isn't just a death. It's a transformation. A moment that will echo for millions of years. A light that will shatter the sky. Not in destruction, but in rebirth. Betelgeuse is not just collapsing. It's becoming. Everything we are. 